is Eyal, I am the country director of, uh, of CSPI in Israel, and this is the presentation on the five principles of the Islamic doctrine. We will discuss the trilogy, Kafirs, political Islam, dualism, and submission. Let's talk about submission. Islam literally translates as submission. Submission to whom? To Muhammad and Allah. And submission to what? To the final Islamic political vision. The final Islamic political vision is global Islamic dominion. And it can be achieved in violent as well as non-violent means. And both of them, both of those ways, violent and non-violent, are called jihad. In uh, the Hadith, we have an example from the Hadith. I have been commanded to fight against people until they testify there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So it's about fighting them until they submit and say, okay, you are, you are right. It's not about persuading people or um, making them believe something. It's not about believing, it's about submitting. It's about fighting until one submits. Quran 2, 208. O oh, ye yeah, who believe, come all of you, all of you, into submission unto him and follow not the footsteps of the devil. He is an open enemy of you. Uh, when it says all of you, if you take the Arabic text, it says enter into Islam completely. And there are also other translations of, of uh, the Quran that. Uh, that, uh, that uh, uh, translate it this way, so it means enter it into Islam completely. Um, and the explanation is, you cannot pick and choose which parts you like and which parts you don't like. If you enter into Islam, if you submit to Islam, you submit to the entire uh, doctrine, to the, everything that uh, Allah says and everything that Muhammad says and does. You cannot pick and choose. Quran 383, seek the other than the religion of Allah, when unto him submitted whoever is in the heavens and earth, willingly or unwillingly, and unto him they will be returned. So we see that it's about submitting whether you want it or not. Quran 8, 38 and 39, tell those who disbelieve that if they cease from persecution of the believers, well now we know, we know that they were not persecuted in Mecca. Uh, that we, they, they just refuse to, to uh, convert to Islam. Uh, that which is past will be forgiven to them, so they will be forgiven for not converting to Islam. Uh, uh, but if they uh, return, then the example of the men of old has already gone before them. And this really means uh, we have destroyed people before you who, who did not convert, and you can see them as the example. And, and the next verse says, uh, fight them until persecution is no more, and all the religion is for Allah. So if they can say, oh no, it's about persecution, we know two things. One, there was no persecution at that moment, at that time. There was no persecution, actually, uh, there was no fighting with the people of Mecca, actually, until the Battle of Badr, which is six years later. So uh, it's not really about persecution. Yeah, they were driven out of Mecca, but for well, more reasons than just saying our Lord is Allah. We know that. And here the next verse says, fight them until there is no, until all the religion is for Allah. So this is not about being persecuted. This is about all the religion being of Allah. We talked about jihad being uh, both violent and non-violent means to achieve uh, Islamic dominion, global Islamic dominion. And the amount of text devoted to jihad in the doctrine is uh, in total, 31%. Thank you for watching this presentation. I would like to invite you to visit the CSPI website at cspii.org to learn more about political Islam and how to prevent its expansion. We are a non-profit organization and are always looking for volunteers who want to peacefully protect our culture and freedoms through education.